I'm going to shampoo vacuum the fabric seats in my Toyota Camry. There's a coffee stain and uh, there's another stain, God knows what that is. I use this car for Uber and uh, there's a lot of DNA in the seat for sure. This is the machine I use, it's for carpet, but it works on fabric seats as well. It's, uh, it's pretty affordable, link in the description, check it out if you want to. Before I get started, I'm gonna vacuum all the loose debris out of all the cracks in the seat. I'm gonna be using a Tide water solution and dish detergent and water solution. And this bottle just has uh, pure clean water in it. Uh, first, uh, this is the front passenger seat. First, I'm just gonna get it, uh, I'm gonna soak it uh, wet with water. So when I apply the solutions later, it will uh, soak in a little bit past the, uh, the surface. Have a brush like this uh, to rub in the solution onto the seat. I'm gonna pour the laundry detergent mixture on here, which is good for fabrics and it leaves a nice uh, laundry smell. And then I'm gonna pour some of the uh, dishwash soap, which is good for removing uh, grease and oils. And take the brush and rub them in. You don't need to be too crazy with this, just uh, because when you're gonna use the machine, it should suck most of this out. But um, there's an issue, the more you pour, the more it's gonna run downhill um, on the seat surface. Some of these areas are hard to get to. Uh, obviously, you can unbolt the, the, the seat from the car, but uh, I don't have space uh, to do that right now. I'm parking this car on the street. So I'm going to do it while it's inside the car and it's obviously it's not the best for results but this is what I have right now. I just leaned the seat back and I poured the uh, mixtures on the uh, top part of the seat the same way. Starting from the top to the bottom. And I've done the same process. Now I'm going to soak them again to let the, uh, the solutions uh, sink in a little bit. One issue you have is if you get it too wet it's going to be a bit harder to clean because you're going to be sucking up dirt that is deeper into the foam and you're going to be bringing it uh, up to the surface. But it's fine, you can wait for it to dry, uh, get it wet again with just water and go over it with the machine again. Just turned on the machine and as you can see that soap is not clean, it's kind of, uh, looks kind of muddy, it's brown. And obviously... Um, do it in a way that uh, kind of goes with your seat design fabric pattern or grain do it in an even flat way to maintain good suction i'm going to switch this around from the front this is a bit tough because uh, it's, it's on a weird angle and it's a curve so you have to stay consistent with the uh, shape of the curve to maintain suction. That area on the bottom of the uh, back portion of the seat is going to be the last to dry and generally if it's too wet you're going to see some uh, residual um, staining there because the, the wetness and the water runs downhill. So it's going to kind of accumulate there, uh, especially when it dries, but again, it's fine. Let it dry, even if there's a stain, again, like uh, leftover, you can just make it wet with water and go over it uh, with the machine. Most people would say, you know, why don't you just get seat covers one time and be done with it? And that's true, but uh, for the same price, it cost me the same money to buy this machine, and I can use it on any car, uh, any time. Here's the back seat. This is the dirtiest seat in the car because uh, when I pick up people from Uber, generally they sit in this spot here. But the back seats are easier to work on because you have more space. And I'm just using the same uh, method as I did with the front one. Yeah, what can Brown do for you? I don't know whose slogan that is. Grab the water bottle and soak them again. You know, this is kind of therapeutic, I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying uh, spraying things with this bottle here. 
when you get the seats wet generally they start to emit an odor but it's only temporary and soon they'll be smelling like clean laundry and this is what i was talking about earlier this is going to be the last spot to dry at the bottom and uh, now it's completely dry and there's some uh, residual stain because the water and the dirt runs downhill that's top of the hill that's bottom of the hill that's what i mean but this is really easy to uh, take care of just get it wet with only water and there should be enough detergent in the fabric to uh, suck it out so no need to wet the whole seat just the uh, the area that has uh, the residual stain and after it's wet uh, hit it with the machine and it is completely gone or almost and here's that front seat again same spot it's gone of course you can do more passes on top of it and um, but it's good enough for now I'm still probably going to do this one more time before I sell the car next year. But that was easy. I just had the machine and uh, household items. The back seats look great and they smell great too. Thanks for watching.